hello and welcome in this tutorial we move on to the noun phrases function as you can see the simplest example inside our worksheet essentially breaks down a sentence into this is going to be a nice sunny day in Melbourne into nice sunny day and Melbourne if you haven't quite figured out what a noun phrase is I'm going to bring Google to the rescue but in layman's terms, I'm not a grammar teacher, I can tell you that it is either a noun like a, a car or a, a portion of a sentence that has to do with a car, a fast driving car, car sped away, like those are noun phrases, noun phrase. Dun, dun, dun. So it is word or group of words containing a noun. So basically you can think of one noun in a sentence where everything is coherent and it has something to do with that noun. So here is an example, I think I saw some at the bottom. In Someone intelligent is a noun phrase, we were green with envy. Green envy is another noun but it's somehow a modifier. No one important, see the, the no one that there is a noun. Now if that isn't specific, let's let's take a portion of our text rather than you know having the project gutenberg introduction that we're familiar with let's just you know go straight into middle of the book 5000 characters to 15000 characters and in there let's print text.noun phrases so what we're going to be expecting to see is mostly just one single word nouns. Uh, object is no noun noun. Really? Did I misspell it? Noun n o u n. Ah, blob. Blob. So most of them are going to be single words. Half of them are going to be like a word and an adjective. And we may see some minor bugs, but so Asiatic. Ah, interesting. Persians, Medes, Assyrians, these are all nouns. European side. Hellespont, Aegean Sea, vast cities, splendid palaces, implicit obedience. There you go. It is Essentially, for most of them, they're either a loan noun or noun and a qualifier, like European civilization. So, where these are going to come in handy, I imagine, will be to try and see if we can maybe rank noun phrases to see whether the most popular ones um, are going to yield extra information about the text. We're going to find that out in the next module when we seriously get into packaging all these functions into um, sort of useful modules. Okay, so see you in the next tutorial.